All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We're in the fish room today, and we've just got back from the fish store. Of course, we've got some more fish shock. These fish are going to be going in the 125, but first we're going to quarantine them because we don't want them with these guys just yet, as that dude loses a pellet between a rock. I'll have to go and get that at some point. Thanks a lot for that, fella. But anyway, 125 is looking really, really good, and these fish are going to be coming into the 125. Um, but first, we're going to quarantine them for a little bit, so let's get to it. So this 125 has been set up a while now. Overall, really, really happy with it. Current stock, we've got two Siamese algae as I'm probably gonna get um, probably three more, I'm gonna say. We've then got some black neon tetras. We've got 10 of them at the minute. We've then got three angel fish in here. One of them being that guy or gal there. Really, really like that one. That one's probably my favorite at the minute. I just like that iridescent blue that he or she's got. Um, really, really neat. Always super active, really responsive as well. We've then got one Bolivian ram, and I'm probably going to add a few more of them as well. Um, I might even try some German blues and potentially some epistogramma as well, but that's, that's yet to be decided. So 125 looking awesome. What I did do before I went and got the new fish was actually add the three Precox rainbow fish to the tank. And these are just settling in right now. As you can see, they're a little bit washed out, but we've got the one male with the bright red fins and then two females with the more yellow slash light orange fins. Angel fish are a little bit taken by them at the minute, but I think that'll, that'll chill out in some time. And what we are going to do is probably just turn these lights off for a little bit. Um, but as you can see, a few minutes later, the fish are pottering around pretty nicely together and the coloration is coming back. I absolutely love this fish, especially the male. The male is incredible. And uh, I actually got some really cool photos of him the other day so if you're not already following us on instagram make sure you do because i'll be posting them relatively soon if i haven't already but just stunning the iridescent blue again the shimmering effect just awesome and i think a bigger school in this tank is going to be brilliant moving on we have acclimated the fish that i got from the fish store and we're just letting them chill out a little bit so darkening up the tank we're going to give them a little while and then we're going to come and check them out before we do that though, I'll just show you the marbled angel fish real quick. Got five of them in here, quarantining these guys as well. Unsure if these are gonna go in the 125, but that remains to be seen. I've also got a bristle nose pleco that I got from a buddy who's doing great as well. He will definitely be going in the 125, but let me know in the comments if you like these marbled angel fish and if you think I should put them in the 125. However, here are the new fish. If you didn't already know from previous videos, my wife loves the Platinum Angel fish. So I actually went to a store in the north of Pittsburgh, which is Elmer's. I've done a video on that before and I'll leave a card top right of your screen right now. But this store is awesome and it actually had all these white angels for a really good price. And I also picked up a Pearl Garami that you can see in the back there as well. So really excited about these and I'll probably be quarantining them for about two weeks. Although, as you can see, they are very, very reactive already and seem to be pretty intrigued by the tank and myself. Don't know if they know that I'm going to feed them, but we're definitely going to try that as they look to be doing solid already. So that will then take us to eight angelfish in the tank, one pearl garami, and then Overall, I think this 125 is going to look awesome. I'll probably add a few more black neon tetras 
Um, and like I said, I'll probably add more Praycox rainbows because they're just awesome. But for right now, really happy with this tank. They're currently getting a few deshelled peas to snack on. It's always good to feed them some veggies. Um, but really excited about what we're doing right now. If you like this video, like this playlist, and like this tank, make sure you like the video, comment what you think down below, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, supporting the channel, and everything else that you do. Appreciate you all. We'll see you on the next one.